also working meticulously by hand, bookbinder Chris is rejuvenating a crumbling Edwardian album full of treasured family postcards. After hours of careful toil, he now has 130 windowed pages and can begin to build them into a book. Next, I'm going to uh, mark the book up for sewing. This is the sewing tape. It's a linen sewing tape. And this is what actually is going to hold the book into its case. Instead of just being individual pages, that's when the book all comes together. Right. On this, I'm using a, a, a sewing called French catch stitch. So when you uh, come out of this hole, you catch up your last loop and that creates this bond between each section. So as you go through, um, it's hold, each section's holding each other. So you can see all of that is just joined together. It's just nice. So it's now just a matter of ploughing on and it's time to contemplate. So this is the final section with the end paper, which is always a bit of a fiddle. So you can see all of that is just joined together. It's just nice. With the interior built, Chris can turn his attention to the battered covers that will encase the pages. Before pulling it to pieces, I've just been looking at it. They are crumbling where it's attached to, the, the book's actually attached to, so I'm just going to cut straight down the middle it's fallen to pieces, so it's exposed the, the board, makes an easy cut for me. So that's one board free, really pleased with that. So all these corners are, they're not that bad, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually repair them with some more embossed sort of paper, but um, anything that's loose, I'll just stick down. Got to be really careful lifting this because it's been stuck down since 1910, so it, it's got its own mind at the moment. So it's just gentle encouragement. I suppose it's been, been almost like a dentist, isn't it? There's all these, <laughs> all the tools. I can glue all the edges down. Yep, I'm really happy with that. With the cover boards repaired, Chris must connect them with a sturdy new spine. And for that, he requires a fabric that will blend seamlessly into the Edwardian original. So this is the, the original cloth, but luckily in my hoard at home, I've got almost exactly uh, the, the same cloth. The only difference is that's got however many uh, over 100 years of dirt on it. Give that a squash. I'll just give it a, a gentle shock. So while that's drying, I can pop off and have a cup of tea. Now that it's all dry, I'm going to actually uh, attach the album into the covers. Make sure it's all married up and then rub it down. Just make sure it's in correct place. Makes it nice and strong. So finally I'm going to just paint it all up and uh, start making it look nice. There's a few sort of scuff marks. So just protect the inside. I'm going to use watercolour. It's just going to blend and not be so in your face. You don't want to take it all away, the, the scuff marks. It's just knowing at what point to stop. It's just the final bit now. I'm just going to start putting the postcards in. 